Hi, it's Dan from HMV Cardiff, here once again to present an exciting new week of vinyl releases. You know the face, you know his name. Bruce Dickinson is back with his seventh studio solo album, The Mandrake Project. After 19 years since his last solo album, the Iron Maiden singer is back to his solo output after continuing work with the legendary band. Bruce now steps up for an energetic and ambitious riot through his signature sound. Encased in a gatefold double LP with a glossy embossed cover, will you be picking up this new release from the legend himself? Another seventh outing for a band with a much different sound, yet with much acclaim, Everything Everything return with another sizzling synth pop record, Mountainhead. The Manchester outfit return with scathing cultural lyricism juxtaposed with catchy beats worth revisiting over and over again. Another gatefold release, this time with a single LP encased in lyric sleeves so you can digest the meaning behind every word. With this collector's transparent vinyl, will you be checking out the popular band's new album? Back again to scramble your brains with his unconventional bass patterns and break core drum beats, Square Pusher returns to adjust the needle of the electronic scene once more. Dostrotine is insanely enough the 21st album from the legendary IDM beatmaker. Encased in this digitally coded aesthetic which transports you into the glitchy landscape with an illuminous Square Pusher himself looking over the LED world. Lose yourself into this vast and uncertain terrain built from this well-established artist. Hi, it's Erin from HMV Merry Hill and today we'll be looking at two new releases that we're excited about. Firstly, I'll be looking at Melanie Martinez's reissue, deluxe version of her first album from 2015, Cry Baby. It comes out on a really lovely limited splattered pink vinyl it's got two discs they're both the same the album also includes an art book of all the artwork from the album each piece of art reflects a song in the album as well so it's really nice visualizer while you're listening to the album there's a closer look at one of those pages for you the album also includes three songs from her first EP, uh, which have never been on vinyl before. Secondly, we'll be looking at Liam Gallagher and John Squire's new album, Liam Gallagher and John Squire. The two met when John was in Liam's band for his Nebworth shows. And funny enough, Liam's first gig he ever went to was Stone Rose's gig, which inspired him to make music in the first place. Let's take a closer look at the vinyl. It comes out on Black vinyl standard, but a lovely exclusive white, which I think really matches the artwork on the front of the album as well. Lovely white there. It also comes with a really nice pull out poster. It's quite a big one as well. So I'll try and keep that in frame for you. That one there. The lovely thing about the artwork as well is everything has a name of a song on there. Uh, so you can take a really close look at all the different ones and see all the songs that you like on there. And yeah, it also comes out on CD for you CD lovers. And if you want to find this, come in store and check online. These are just two of the new releases we've got in store for you today. Check online and come in store for the rest of the stock. Hi everyone, it's Lou here. Welcome back to HMV's YouTube channel on another exciting music review today. And we are going to be reviewing the new albums from Bruce Dickinson and Liam Gallagher and John Squire. As always in this video, I'm going to show you guys a little in-depth of these albums as well as the artists, a little bit of history about them if you don't or don't know them. Starting off with Liam Gallagher and John Squire's album. I've never seen an album cover like this before. It's definitely very unique. And on the back, it's just very plain with the song track list on, or the album track list. But what I've noticed is the names on all these branded, like, branded products. It's actually the names of the songs. So, like, I'm, on, I'm a wheel, like, number four, track four. 
is on like this detergent. I actually think that's a really clever idea and strange as well, but it's really, really cool. I absolutely love that. Next we have Bruce Dickens' album. I've never actually heard of this artist before because I'm not really a heavy metal, heavy metal lover myself personally, but this album looks really, really cool. I love the ginormous coin with all like the different details on it. And you can actually feel like the 3D detail on the front as well. And then it shows him at the back as well as all of the songs on the album. Very, very, what would you call it? Heavy metal is what I'm going for, but also very like grungy and like dark, if you know what I mean. And it's also a really heavy album as well. Like once you pick it up, it is pretty heavy. Um, so yes, very cool album. So first we have Liam Gallagher and John Squire's album. And I think we all know that we are no strangers to who Liam Gallagher is. He is a very popular English singer who was the lead vocalist in the most popular rock band back in the 90s, Oasis. He then later fronted a new rock band called BDI from 2009 to 2014, but he then slowly started his own solo career in 2017 and it was a huge success. But for those who don't know about John Squire, he's also an English musician, songwriter and painter. He was the guitarist in the most popular rock band Stone Roses and then he formed a songwriting partnership with the lead singer Ian Brown. And after leaving Stone Rose, he followed into his own solo album career, which skyrocketed. Liam Gallagher was interested in joining a band called The Rain, but after mutual agreement, the band underwent a name change to Oasis, and Noel was intentionally approached to be their manager. The band released their first debut album, Definitely Maybe, in 1994, and it was a critical but success album during the emergency of Britpop. And as we all know, Blur is no stranger to the Oasis crowd, since back in those days, Blur and Oasis were fighting for the top charts every single time once they debuted a new album or song. Let me know in the comments, are you Oasis or Blur? Because for me, I'm Blur all the way. John Squire has been described as one of the most accomplished and influential British rock star guitarists of the late 1880s and early 1990s. He was voted the 13th greatest guitarist of the last 30 years in a national poll of BBC Six Music in 2010. Definitely if you're into the old school rock band, this album is 100% for you, especially with two rock legends riding behind this album is fantastic. And next we have Bruce Dickinson's album, and I think to all the heavy metal rockers out there, he is no stranger to anyone. He's an English singer and he's best known as vocalist for the heavy metal band Iron Maiden. He is known for wide ranging operatic vocals, style and energetic stage presence. So that is it for this music review. I hope you all enjoyed and got some more in depth into these albums. As you all know, go to HMV and any stores near you or as well as hmv.com to purchase any of these albums. And don't forget to ask any staff for some tips as well as some more info on these artists or albums. And we hope you also enjoy their new music. So hope to see you guys in the next video. And that is it from us. Bye!